What's up, tech friends? It's me, Elric Ferris, here on the Tech of Tomorrow channel, coming to you guys live from sunny Southern California, where hopefully not too many cars have come by. Well, there goes one right there, because it's outdoors, and I have no control of it. But that said, we're gonna look at product here. This is the U-Control UCA202. Now, this product is a USB interface that allows you to connect two sets of speakers, you can use headphones, it has digital output, and it's all connected through the USB. It works on both Mac and PC and comes to market at about $35. If you guys would like to pick one of these up yourself, take a look in the link in the description below. But basically what it is, is it's a product that if you like are having problems with your like product, like you can't get your sound to work or whatever, like a lot of people have this thing, they're like the sound card will go out or the chip will go out. Well, this thing will replace it. And it's cool because if you want to just have decent sound or you want to do digital speakers, you can take it wherever you want to go, just plug it into your laptop, plug it into your PC, plug it into your Mac, whatever you want and go. This one's actually for our cameraman guy because he actually uh, had problems with his Hackintosh. We don't know why, but he no longer had sound. So we give him this, he plugs it in and off he goes. So let's take a look at this thing. It's 35 bucks and it's pretty good because if you need something like this, it'll solve a lot of problems. If you don't, it's worthless, but you people out there looking for something that's USB, cheap and easy to use, well, this Behringer product is it. So let's unbox this bad boy. So here it is, folks. Let's show the box. It's the U-Control UCA202 Ultra Low Latency 2-in, 2-out USB audio interface with digital output. Behringer's a company that makes pro audio stuff. This is a pretty cheap product for them, so I'm sure it'll probably work pretty well. Here's the back of the box. You can see some of the connectivity there. Flip around so you guys see the side. One more side. I brought out one of my trusty knives. Bring it up here as so you can hear it. Nice, clear camera click. Bring it back into camera range. Let's see here with a little cut there. Outdoor unboxings are kind of weird, guys, because I get nervous because like there's cars driving by, people walking by. It kind of gets wacky. So here's the inside of the box. You control once again. You can see the USB connection, the little box. This is the manual. Here's your USB cable. That's pretty much it. So. Let me get this stuff out of the way and uh, I'll hand it off to the cameraman so we can do something with it. So now we're going to see the actual product itself. So I'll go ahead and just remove this single plastic piece that we have on here as uh, she just tries to zoom in on this uh, in the air angle. And all the speedy little cars keep going by. So let's check it out. First, let's just go like this. Kaboom. Here's for your speakers. You connect it to a mixing board, to a set of speakers, however you want to use it. Got a button right here. That button is for off, on for monitor. So that's what this one is. We'll flip it around the front so you guys can see that. Here's the off, on monitor and the off, on monitor button. Here's your USB connectivity. Let's you know that it's working. Now, you get optical output. So if you happen to have a really cool set of digital speakers, you can just plug those bad boys right in there. Got your headphone jack right there and a volume jack right here to control your volume. So for 35 bucks, if you don't have any audio and you need an audio interface, this is a lot cheaper than a lot of the sound cards out there. And pretty much honestly, most of the USB audio sounds about the same. They pretty much all use the same kind of chips and everything else. So it's just a basic sound, but it'll work. If you're editing videos, just want to hear some music, you don't want to deal with any problems, just plug in the Behringer and you're off and going. So I'm Elric Ferris. We'll see you guys later here on Tech of Tomorrow.